What's going on guys? My name is Marcel Flores. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. We're in the fall winter season and I want to talk about color. I feel like a lot of times color seems to be reserved for spring and summer. Well, I'm here to tell you today that that's not true. As you can see by this rack, I want to walk you through all the different ways that you can integrate a pop of color into your outfit to make your fall winter wardrobe just pop a little bit more. Let's get started. We're going to approach it upper body, outside, in and downwards to the accessories. So first and foremost, outerwear. Outerwear can be an easy integration for a color, but it's quickly overwhelming. Something like this United Colors of Benetton bright orange double breasted coat is absolutely beautiful in my opinion, but it's not super versatile because that bright orange color doesn't only pop out to you, it stands out to everybody else. So if you wear it seven days a week, that means people are gonna notice you're wearing the same coat. So it's not super versatile, but it's a really, really nice and easy way to integrate it. Just make sure to keep the base of the outfit as neutral as possible. A more simple way to wear color in your outerwear would be this example from Andrew Mark, a Bordeaux puffer jacket. Absolutely beautiful, really, really versatile, just because the color is that much more toned down. And again, I think outerwear is a great way to play with it because all you gotta do is get one nice coat that adds that color and the rest of your wardrobe can pretty much stay the same. As you see on this rack, a lot of these colors are a little bit in the realm of earth tones. That's why these colors particularly work fairly well. Yellow, orange, a brighter green, Bordeaux, those are all derivatives of earth colors, just a little bit more saturated or played with the lightness of it. This, for example, moving to the mid layer, is a bright orange puffer vest from Uniqlo. This is a really great way to integrate color because you don't wear it just up top and it's in your face. You tend to wear it as a mid layer so there's something else on top of it covering it. That means you just have a little bit of color standing out and that's what makes the outfit special, especially once you step indoors, take your coat off and then this mid layer really comes to shine. We have a few more options when it comes to mid layers like sweaters. This Zara turtleneck in a really nice light green color or this cashmere yellow Uniqlo sweater, both great options. Same principle applies as with the vest. Once you take the jacket off, these really come to shine, but up until then, they really just add a little bit of color underneath your coat, peek out a little bit, and make your outfit stand out a little bit more. One of the most classic ways to integrate color in the fall season would be, in my opinion, a flannel shirt. Flannel shirts tend to have several colors combined, and especially in the smaller lines, which are white in this shirt, you have some yellows that are popping out, some oranges, some bold colorways. This one is a very classic example, in my opinion, it's from Barber, and it combines Bordeaux and navy primarily. You see, I'm not really talking about navy in this video at all, because to me, that's one of the essential colors. I'm also not talking about a dark forest green or a really dark brown. Those are the things you're already wearing and yes, they're colorful, but we're talking about how to add even more color and make it stand out more. I think this is a great way. It's combining that navy and that red, even with some purple patches right in here that I think is a really great way to wear color in the fall. Moving on to the base layer, the layer that touches or rests upon your skin unless you're wearing heat tech because it's too cold outside. And uh, two easy examples would be a t-shirt or even a polo shirt if you're trying to dress it up a little bit more. Both of which have many different colors at many different stores. You really can have your pick at what is your favorite color that works with your wardrobe. But I here have this Uniqlo U t-shirt that I really like the color of. It's a nice burn yellow, like not quite orange, but same thing applies as with the mid layer. If you have a jacket on top, it's just peeking out, it's adding to it, but otherwise you can really hide it away. You can wear a hoodie on top of it, hide this color entirely until you go inside and take it off. So that's easy. On the lower half of the body here, I have a pair of jeans that is colored from H&M. Now colored jeans, these aren't super stand out. They're really just like a nice saturated, brighter brown. But I wanted to put these in just as a stand-in for all the colored jeans that are out there. Whether you want to go for a dar darker green, but not too dark. <laughs> Whether you want to go for a Bordeaux, another pant option that easily lends itself to that would be chinos. Chinos come in many different colorways. Thinking of a mineral green just now, I think a mineral green is a nice way to integrate that. Kind of just like this, but even a little bit more faded. Remember what I said before, we play with saturation, but also with lightness. If you have those colors and you make them a little bit lighter, they stand out more. Last but not least, we've come to the category that I think is the easiest way to integrate color, and some of you may already be doing it, and that's accessories. Whether that's beanies, scarves, socks, gloves, shoes, there's a lot of things you can do. Let's start talking about beanies because I think a beanie is a really, really easy way to integrate this. This is a yellow beanie from Uniqlo with heat tech technology, so this thing will keep you warm. And I also think it's a really nice color that goes with earth tone combinations, but still adds a little pop in. What you can do, and I would be a little bit careful with that, is playing with the same color in two different spots. Now, these are not a perfect match, and that's already where 
sometimes it goes a little bit wrong. I think if you take this sweater right here and add this beanie to it, they're just a couple shades off, this works for me, and you can play with that same color across the outfit a couple times to really drive the point home. Same with the yellow socks and this sweater. Somehow this sweater bridges the gap for me between the socks and the beanie, but don't overdo it. Don't go for the beanie and the sweater and the socks, or please don't wear that orange coat with an orange beanie. There's limits to it and I think you can play around with it, you can test it out, but that's really up to you to see how much you want to play with color. It definitely helps putting it on, seeing how it works with your skin tone, and then deciding. Before we wrap up, shoes. I don't have any shoes on me here today that are a pop because I forgot them in LA, but the simplest examples are a marigold and brick sneakers that we have in my own brand on Kari Flores. Here's a couple photos of them so you guys can take a look at what that looks like. Easy way to integrate, easy way to lend a pop to your outfit. And last, but absolutely not least, I think the easiest way to integrate color into your fall winter wardrobe, a scarf. This one's a nice red color, I picked this up at Zara, but there your options are honestly pretty much limitless. See what works for you, what works with your wardrobe, what works with your personal style and preference, and then there you have it. And that about wraps up today's video. Really just me trying to walk you through the fact that it's not that hard to wear color. You can literally wear it at any part of your outfit. So I'm encouraging you to embrace color a little bit more this fall winter season. Make sure that you stand out when everybody else is looking dull and dark. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the color part as well as the comment section. Make sure to leave comments down below because we'll be answering them in another video soon. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you did like it. Subscribe if you're not yet because you don't want to miss out on any of this good stuff. I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper.